Let's talk about health care for a second. A new report says that one in ten employers may drop their health care coverage under the new uh, health care law there. Louise Radnofsky is here with us. She's calling, phoning in from D.C. Louise, how are you this afternoon? I'm great, thank you. Uh, let, so let's talk about this study. This is a Deloitte study, right? It is, yes. What we've learned is that one in ten employers is thinking about uh, dropping coverage in the next one to three years. But more than thinking about, they're, they're seriously planning on doing that. And then about one in three uh, going forward might consider dropping under certain circumstances related to the health law. Right. Now, I'm assuming that's a big increase in whatever rate there was before. I mean, did anyone really even drop health care plans before? Well, right now, health care is offered by employers on a voluntary basis. Mm -hmm. What happens right. in 2014 is several things that changes the equation. Employers will face a penalty for the first time if they don't offer a set level of coverage. It's around $2,000 per worker. Uh, but there are also going to be new options out there for people to purchase insurance on their own. And so the idea that that might make the benefit less valuable to people is obviously something that's uh, uppermost in people's minds. Yeah. You, know, you mentioned the penalty is very interesting because depending on how much you're putting out for health care, that paying that penalty could actually cost an employer less than offering health care. Right. There's various things that factor into that. So the, there's tax advantages to the cost of the health care that you currently provide. Mm -hmm. You might have to provide more in compensation in a way that wouldn't be tax advantaged if you weren't providing the benefit. So it's, it's a series of calculations, but it's certainly something that any employer has made. Right. Now, how much of the, this, so we hear a lot about this uncertainty, uncertainty over what the ramifications are going to be. How much of that is playing into this, into the, uh, the, these decisions? Well, there certainly is uncertainty, including about how new exchanges where people can shop for insurance are going to work, whether the penalty might change over time, it could, could increase, a whole lot of different things that mean that down the line the landscape might look different from the way it does in the first couple of years after the law's taken effect around 2014. Also, actually, a new tax that uh, kicks in for high-cost health plans in 2018. Yeah. Louise, how do you think this will go down with the employees? I mean, is it... Is it going to be a kind of thing where they're not going to really care about it because they have an option, or is this going to hurt employees? Right. Well, that's one of the $64,000 questions. <laughs> it's actually one that not a lot of people ask employees. Yeah. And it's sort of hard to tell right now because employers, as we note in the story, don't talk openly about their decisions, in part presumably because they're very concerned about their workforces. So this sort of anonymized survey, which had 560 companies in it but none of them named, is really the best way that we even know what people are thinking about right now. And by people, I mean the companies. What the workers are thinking about right now is still to be determined. You know, I thought it was interesting, too, you, you noted in the story that when you start breaking down the size of companies, uh, uh, you know, what companies would be leaving, ugh, I'm, I'm, yeah. you find that small companies are, are more apt to drop the plans than large companies. That's what I was awkwardly right. trying large, to say. Yeah, no, large companies have a number of things uh, that seem to affect their decision, including very well entrenched, established HR departments that have been doing this for a long time. At the smaller end, they seem to be more vulnerable to changes in the market and, and pricing and uh, sort of looking around the margins where they can make savings or change the way they're doing things going down the line. Right. All right, Louise, thank you very much.